I'm Glenn Sanchez here. Welcome to Baywalkers. Just me this time. No one wanted to go with me. Oh, well. Uh, this time we're going to go find the Pioneer Memorial Tower. It's a tower to remember pioneers. Yep. I'm in a city called Kitchener this time. Not where I live. It's in the same county, but it's a nice city. Got a bug on my hand. Maybe we'll get to see some bald eagles. So what are you going to see in today's video? Well, the tower for one, the graveyard for two. We'll look out. Possibly some bald eagles as well, because they live here. Stop doing that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so bald eagles, there's a lookout. This is where you can see bald eagles from. And you get to see the Grand River. Yeah. And engines used to live here. How am I find an arrowhead? God damn it, stop doing that. Yeah, it's just me today. It's not bad, I guess. Dagos couldn't make it today. So it's just me. Oh, also planned for today's video. I'm gonna visit a haunted hotel, which was also a old folks home and I think at one point a uh, mental hospital. Yep, yeah, you're gonna see that too. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm gonna try to make this video funny and entertaining. I see the tower. I don't know if you can see it from here. Far off in the distance. That's the tower. Oh, I'm so excited. My cockles over my heart are ejaculating heart fluids. I think that's blood. I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh, although, it's good to good. As I was saying, I'm going to try to make this video entertaining and funny. I know it's just me. You know, I'm not the uh, most interesting guy in the world. If I was, I drink Dos Equis. I know, it's going to be good. I can't wait to get to that tower. It looks so fucking cool. Let's see if you can spot it now. No, not really. Oh, also, the quality of this video is going to be bad. Sadly, I... The batteries in my camera died. Like, right when I started recording here. It pissed me off. So, luckily, I had my phone with me. It's not, you know, the best quality, but at least it's quality. Man, I love this place. It's my first time ever being here, but it's so cool. No pun intended. It's actually quite cool. I don't know if you can see... Big-ass rain cloud right above me. <laughs> well, it's probably going to rain while I'm here. It's just fine. I mean, it's no big deal. I can take shelter in the forest if I need to. No big deal. I mean, it's just rain. I mean, the rain never kill anyone. Monsoons, they kill people, don't they? It'll be nice, though. It'll be nice to get out of the house, get away from Douglas, just enjoy nature, enjoy the Grand River Valley. Oh, the tower's getting closer. You still can't see it. Oh, well. Oh, well. If we see anything real exciting, I'll record it. But for now, I'll just stop, because all we're doing is walking. Also, uh, the day after I record this video, I'm doing, a, uh, hopefully, another video of my sister. I can be probably seen if you watch my other day walkers videos. We're going to go to Shades Mill, the resting place of the infamous Lich of Gold at Swamp Shade. I'll tell you the whole story of him later. It's actually kind of story I made up, but he's... I can tell it now. He's the founder of my little town called Gulp, and he, there's a place called Shade Mill, which is where he built his mill, and he lives in the bottom of the lake there, because he's a lich. He has Absalom Shade, he's so cool. Stop holding the phone down there. There. I should just put a, I don't know, metal bar on my elbow, I don't get too much stuff, so... There's animals all over the place in there. 
I realized that early in my, earlier in my video I said that I lived in Cambridge. And then, I'm talking about the lich, I said I lived in Galt. You guys might be wondering, what the hell? The answer is why you lied to us. Well, I'm not. See, back in the day, there were four towns. Galt, Hesper, Preston, and Blair. No one remembers Blair because it's so tiny. And, uh... I think in 1950 or so, they got combined to form the city of Gulf, uh, not Gulf City, the city of Cambridge, rather. And, eh, city of Cambridge, but that's a big ass feel. But most people just call it, you know, the place, the parts they live in by their actual name. Like, you know, I live in Gulf. Uh, my grandparents, they live in Hesper. Some people live in Preston, which is where we're going to see the haunted hotel. Preston Springs Hotel. It's an old hotel back in the day. They found sulfur springs in uh, underneath it, so they made like a uh, sauna thing, and people from all over the world and celebrities came to see, came to use the hot springs because they could heal, you know. That eventually got shut down and then turned into a retirement home, and then returned turned into a, a mental hospital, I believe. Apparently, it's haunted. So we're gonna go check. Hopefully, we can get into the building. There's birds all over you. Look. River. And there's people kayaking down the thing. But hey, whatever. This is nice. Right, back up to go. Almost at the tower. It's not as far as away far away as I thought it was. Which is good. Hopefully we don't run into snakes. Snakey. Oh, and for tomorrow the next God damn it, for the next episode where we go see the Lich, I should have my camera working. So, shouldn't have another bad quality video like this one. We'll see. So that lookout I was talking about to find the eagles. This is it. Not much of a lookout. I was hoping for, like, a big wooden tower. You know, like the lookouts I'm used to. But there are bald eagles. I've seen them. Well, I've seen one. It's really freaking cool. They're they were big and flying. But I want to check out what this is because there's like plaques. And it looks. So I just heard the tremendous flapping of wings from a bald eagle. It scared the crap out of me. But this place. Actually, let's go inside. Apparently this is an old barn from back in the day. Look at that. So cool. I, l I really do love stuff like this. Glimpses into the past. Love it. There's also like little farm sheds and farm houses and stuff around here. Like that one. I'm going to check it out. I... <laughs> Looks like it's private land though, so maybe we shouldn't. Oh, we can look at the front of it, can't we? Yeah. Now I see the tower, too. We're going to go over here in a second. Look at these pretty, pretty houses. Mm -hmm. Check that. Yep. That's cool. It's on someone's private property, so I don't know if I really want to go look at it. Looking at it from there is cool, though. Yeah. Oh, there's a sign up here. Well, you see, that's the old building. But they actually might be down there, so I might go look at them. What's that place? That's that. The Betzner Barn. That's what this was. They can still got all the original pieces. Cool. And that Robin thinks so, up there. You can't see him, can you? Oh, well. Look at that view. Don't, I don't know if the camera can do it justice, but it's nice. I, I want to live here. I mean, look at that house. It's fucking beautiful. Is it Robin? Oh, yeah. There's the tower. How do you want to get there? I just saw a lake bird, which is really weird. There he is down there. I don't know if you can see him, but that's the kind of bird that usually lives around the Great Lakes in this area. I don't know what the hell is doing here. Cool though. There he goes. No, you can't see him, but we're close to the tower. I'm gonna see if we can get some supply for it. I don't know if we can, but I'm gonna try. Yeah. 
There it is. That's so freaking cool. I can't believe I'm here. I've been wanting to come here for freaking ever. Like for a few, well not ever, for a few years now since I just learned about it. And I'm finally here. In the flesh. I'm going to touch the tower. I'm going to touch the freaking tower. This is so cool. Oh. There's a plaque. I'm going to read that in a sec. Can we go in? God damn it, it's locked up. Oh, it's so cool, man. That is so freaking cool. Although it kind of smells like a farm. That's so cool. Man, I love it. Oh, I just tripped one down the stairs. That's how much I love it. I'm so flabbergasted. I'm going to go check out the graveyard. Pioneer graveyard. Man, that's cool. I really want to go up to the top of it, but I can't. Maybe if I talk to the city official, he'll let me up there. I don't know. Steep hill. Attention. That's erosion. <laughs> oh my god. There's, there's gravestones for children there. And if I'm not careful, there might be a gravestone for me. That's a really steep hill. This cliff's erosion, so I should be careful. But we're going to check out the graveyard. I don't know if we're allowed to be in it. But you know what? Fuck the police. Oh my god, little, little children headstones. First settlers in Waterloo Township arriving in the spring of 1800. Man, oh man. This is cool. Betzner, from Germany, immigrated to America in 1755, moved to Canada in 1800, settled on Grand River opposite Dune, original forefather of the Betzner family in America. Oh yeah, crap, I was going to make a joke, but I totally forgot. They're in a little town called Dune inside of Kitchener. He, he who controls the spices controls the world. I can't believe I forgot to say that. Look at all the freaking bugs. Ugh. Black flies, I hate them. Ugh. Look at the little Look at the little one. Man, that's not cool. Dead kids aren't cool, man. These ones look kind of recent. Because, you know, my father was a funeral director and a mortician. So I've, you know, spent a lot of time in graveyards. I'll tell you that in the stories later, but... These look like fairly recent tombstones, but they're not, because this person died in 1883. No, no, I'm just used to seeing tombstones like this being recent. I don't know. 1883, not all that recent. That's like over 100 years ago, man. Man, that's like, what, 130 years ago? Yeah, look at that. Steep. Deep, 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 deep water. But yeah, that was cool. We saw the tower in the graveyard with the little children gravestones. I'm gonna have a lunch. Uh, if anything else exciting shows up, like those other buildings, I'll actually yeah record that after lunch. But if anything else happens, like a plane falling out of the sky, I might show you. Also, we might go see a meteorite. Check that out. It's a tower and some rooms behind it. I can't get in the road at this point. And I don't want to break the law. Now I just have to figure out a way to get home because I have no idea where to catch a bus. So, I guess we could just backtrack. Alright, then we have to hire him in that. We might see bald eagles. Oh, and I might be able to show you that meteorite that I was talking about. The white wind. Apparently, I think it was in 1997, some guy was golfing at the golf course down the trail, and a um, meteorite almost hit him. So, yeah. So, on my way home from the place, uh, Man, I'm tired. I found this thing. 
It's a weird looking bridge and it goes over a freeway. It's really nice looking. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It says the first pedestrian and cycling bridge over Highway 401. Officially opened October 21st, 2007. If you want to see the 401, which is like the major highway in Ontario, you'll see it. You will see it. I don't know if you can hear me though. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Now I just need to get to the college so I can catch a bus out of this place. Oh, so that's like another half hour walk away. Oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Unless I want to become a permanent resident of Kitchener, living in a tree or something. Nah, we'll, let's go to the college.